Hello, third year. How are you today? Well, I hope you are happy. I'm fine. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of August. First of all, we are going to check pages 72, 73, 74, 75, and 72, 3, 4, and 5 from Activity Book. Remember today you have to hand in the email requesting for information. Yes, that was the exercise 6 from page 130. And then you have the revision, all right? Is it clear? Well, so um, wait a minute, prepare the activity book. Yes. Good, good, good. 72, 73, 74, and 75. Yes, I'm preparing the, the revision too. Wait a minute. Well, so 72, remember if it is remember if it is okay, put a tick, if it is wrong, put a cross. Yes, page 72. Yes, okay. Exercises three and four. Exercises three and four. One cinema, two museum, three catacombs, yes, four gallery, five theater, six tunnels. Exercise four. Take place, two, a good place, three, all over the place, and four, no place, four. Repetition. One, take place, two, a good place, three, all over the place, and four, no place for anyone. Yes? Good. Um, let's go to page 73. Exercise 2. I'm interested in. 2. Do you know? 3. What time does? 4. Could you tell? 5. Are there any? 6. How about? 7. How much? 8. You can also take. 9. Is there any? 10. Another option is. Yes. A page. 74. Wait a minute, I'm checking something. All right. Yes, page 74, 74. Yes, okay. 1, A, 2, C, 3, A, 4, D, 5, F, 6, H, 7, I, 8E, 9J, 10B, exercise 2. 1B, 2A, 3B, 4B, 5A, 6C, 7B, 8C. Yes, okay. Good. Page 75. 1. A, 1A, amazing. Be amazed. Atención aquí porque esto sale hoy en el um, um, exam, en la revision. Uh, adjectives ending in e, uh, ing and ed. Okay? So, the view is amazing. The book is amazing. The program is amazing. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? I'm amazed by the view. I was amazed by the program. Is it clear? So you have ing, ending, yes, and uh, ed, yes. I was amazed, yes, by blah, 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 blah. Yes, the book 
was interesting, amazing. Is it clear? So pay attention in this, yes, okay? Uh, a thing is amazing. I am amazed by something. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Good. Uh, to a fascinated tourist were fascinated. Fascinado, fascinante. Yes? Be fascinating. Yes? A place can be fascinating. 3A, interested. B, interesting. 4A, frightening. B, fright, frightened. Yes? 5A, worried. B, worrying. 6A, tired. And B, tiring. Yes? Okay. Carrying that bag is, tari uh, is tiring. Yes? A, 7A, excited. B, exciting. 8A, sur surprising. B, surprised. Yes? Okay. Well, how do you feel when you make a mistake in English? Blah, blah, blah. This is personal. Exercise 3. Let's stay at this hotel. Let's go. Let's finish. That's why it's very important to see the video before doing the revision. Because when I'm um, doing the class of revision and I'm checking pages, Yes, I give you some tips, I give you some advice, some things you have to pay attention, okay, when you are doing the revision, yes. So, don't go straight to the revision, because it's not like this. Okay, I'd like to, yes, okay, so you have, let's go, let's do, let's finish, let's stay, and then you have, I'd like to infinitive. I'd like to go. I like to buy tickets for the tour. Three, I hadn't seen my friend for a long time. Who lived in this house? This is a good place to eat. I'm interested in the museum. Seven, could you tell me the opening times? Yes. Five, abroad. Two, tip. Three, turkey. Four, catacombs. Five, gondola. And six, Last count. Yes, okay. Good. And that was all. Now let's go to the explanation. Okay. Remember, um, you will have you will have the two files. One for the grammar, one for the writing. Yes, is it clear? Remember the uh, subject question, who played and who has played, who will go, okay, the who, the WH question plus the verb. And then you have the other kind of, kind of question, yes, what did you do, WH, sub, uh, auxiliary, subject, and verb. What did you do last? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, is it clear? Who did you go with? Yes, attention acá. Who did you go with? Yes, okay. Entonces sigue W, auxiliar, subject, verb. And then last, other questions. Yes, and the subject question. Directamente vamos a, tenemos subject question and object questions. Yes, okay. In exercise uh, A1, yes, there we are, 
You have to complete the sentences. Complete the sentences. Well, you have to complete the sentences with the past simple or past perfect. ¿Mm? Ya revisamos durante las clases que tengo el pasado, quiero ir atrás en el pasado, voy a usar un past perfect. Por ejemplo, after, before, son adverbios que me van a que pistas que tengo que, que hacer que prestar atención y saber que, está, que viene un past perfect. After. We have paid the, what, the waiter. He brought blah, blah, blah. When we got to the airport, the, the plane had already left. Atención cuando formo el past perfect, voy a formar el had más la tercera columna, o sea, el pasado participio. Ojo, ¿eh? Así que entiendo la frase primero and then complete. Then in exercise two, you have to look at the first sentence in each pair. Complete the second sentence so that it has the same meaning. Use past simple and past perfect simple. Yes, with the words given. Ali, atención aquí. Alicia put up her tent, then she began to explore the countryside. When Alicia began to explore the countryside, sorry, Alicia began to explore the countryside when she had put up her tent. Okay? Entonces, atención ahí. Porque con la idea que me dan, with the idea you have there, you have to write another sentence saying the same, but using the words given. Is it clear? Yes? Ok. En este caso, ¿qué palabrita me dan? When, already, as soon as, after. Yes? Así que atención, porque tengo que usar qué tiempos? Past perfect, past simple. Yes? Ok. Is it clear? Así que a entender la frase primero. Bueno, and then in exercise uh, three, write if it is a subject question, yes, in the primer, or an object question. Who organizes the tour each year? This is a subject question. Estamos preguntando por el sujeto. Yes, which camper van bien? Which camper van was more expensive? Yes, okay. So, write subject questions, yes, or object question with the words given. Ya tenés puesta si es una subject question, perdón, o una object question. Entonces, lo que vas a hacer al lado, acá te pide que es una subject, entonces vas a poner su e w más el verbo. Ahora, cuando yo tengo una object question, ahí voy a respetar el w auxiliar sujeto y verbo. What did you do last weekend? Ahora, si me dice que es una subject question, voy a poner directamente who, when. Yes. Yes. Is it clear? Which was. Okay. Where were the tickets? Is it clear? Entonces, atención si me dice si es una subject or una object question. Yes. Okay. Then you have to complete the sentence with ed or ing. Muy bien. Amaze, amazing, annoyed, annoying. Yes. Excited, exciting, worrying, worried. Yes. Is it clear? And that's all. Yes. Super fácil. Sí. Solo requiere que el alumno haga lo más importante. Estudien. Bueno. Uh, read the information about the camping. Again, Nido's Camping Site. Esto lo había presentado en clase, así que es un cuadrito que ya conocemos, con información que ya conocemos. Y fue con el cuadro que presenté, with the chart that I uh, introduced, uh, the email um, asking for information. Entonces, aquí es muy importante algo. Yes, okay? That you read the chart, the information you have. Yes? That you read the information you have and that you respect that you respect the format of a letter yes of an email yes entonces aquí voy a poner
poner en práctica, ¿qué cosa? Lo que vimos en la página 113, ¿y es? ¿Qué? An email requesting. Entonces, ¿qué es lo importante en un email requesting? ¿Y es? Primero, cuando comienza un email, dear fulanito. ¿Mm? Dear sir or mother. Como no sé el nombre de la persona, dear sir or mother, me voy a despedir como... I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards. Entonces, comienzo el ending. ¿Y qué cosa? El language. Muy bien. El language tiene que ser súper formal. Por ende, ¿qué te puso la teacher aquí? Te puso palabritas que te van a ayudar. Provide me. No, could you give me. No. I am writing this email to request for information. Uh, I would like you to provide me, not to give me. Entonces, en este email, lo que voy a evaluar va, va, a, ser en, va, va a ser, si vos estudiaste cuál es el formato de un email, requesting for information, yes, ok, y si respetas eso, porque si no respetas te voy a poner que el task no está respetado. Entonces tenemos video campus site, um, Dover Bridge, yes, close to Dooley uh, Village, bus transport uh, from and to train station, frequency, tenemos que preguntar, send direction working, yes, ok, uh, uh, how much, tennis and caravans for hire, organize activities, fishing, walking and tell us what you want to do, ok, entonces, te pongo cosas que tenés que preguntar. ¿Y qué se hace en un email request? Ask for, request for information. All the things you want to know. When uh, does it open? Yes, when it opens. Yes, okay. Uh, if you can hire, yes. Uh, caravans, yes. Or, and then it's car courts all the time. Yes, okay. Uh, I, I would like you to confirm me, yes. Are there any hotels near this campsite available? Yes. How many rooms are available? Yes, I would like to know. I'm very excited about this uh, camping site. I would be great. It could be grateful. I would be grateful if, if you can send me that information or the information I asked for. Is it clear? Or the information I requested. Entonces, en esto subrayan todos. I will confirm, provide me, yes, I will, uh, I will be grateful, available, yes, I'd like to receive, yes, thank you in advance for the information. I look forward to hearing from you, blah, blah, blah. Yes, entonces, por eso digo que es muy importante mirar los videos, porque vuelvo a enfatizar cosas que quiero que presten atención, yes. Entonces, al corregir, me voy a dar cuenta quién mira y quién no mira los videos. ¿Sí? Yes, ¿Ok? Well, so that's all. Mua, bye, bye. Concentrate. This is a hundred words. Más words must be highlighted. Bye, bye. Happy weekend.